St. Kitts is a small, beautiful island in the region known as the West Indies, with the Caribbean Sea to its west and the Atlantic Ocean to its east. This is where we decided to go for a week of hiking, exploring, eating, and relaxing while staying at the Koi Resort. You're likely watching this to get an idea of what the Koi Resort St. Kitts looks like. A part of the Hilton's Curio Collection, the hotel is only a short seven minute drive from the only airport on the island and a 10 minute drive from the capital city of Bastère. We were greeted by a friendly staff and quickly checked in. Let's take a look at our room, shall we? All right, let's do a little room tour. Our bathroom, big shower, is it going to work for you? I have my morning coffee right out here. Nice. Another thing that's nice about this room is how much luggage space we've got. Got this spot, little seating area, and this spot with a safe. A short walk from the front lobby alongside the open center atrium with seating areas and foliage is the hotel's only restaurant and bar. We only ate breakfast here, but the food was quite good, and in the evening, the bartenders made some remarkable espresso martinis. Walking through this area takes you to the swimming pool and deck. We were here during the off season and had no problems finding lounge chairs. Beyond the pool, there is a short walkway to the beach. However, the beach is not accessible as it is very rocky and full of sargasm seaweed due to facing eastward toward the Atlantic and Sargasso Sea. The Koi also has a nice, clean gym and a small store on site. The taxi cab rides on St. Kitts are not cheap. If you plan on exploring much, you'll want to rent a car. Keep in mind that driving here is on the left side of the road, so it takes a bit of getting used to. But if you're like Sky, the challenge is readily accepted You can make your way around the entire island in less than two hours. While you're out exploring in your rental car, you should make your way over to Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park. This 18th century British fort built by African slaves has panoramic views of the western side of St. Kitts and the islands of St. Eustatius and Saba in the distance. The history is cool, but we thought the price of admission was a little steep at $15 per person. So maybe it's just not our thing. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think. A somewhat more adventurous thing to do is get up early and make the drive over to Mount Liamiga. If you think you're up for a moderate to difficult hike, Look for this little shack, I mean volcano bar, at the head of the trail, along with a very dilapidated sign. The first part of the hike is pretty easy. The entire hike is under the canopy of huge trees, so it's almost 100% shaded, which is nice. A little trail clearing over here. Got our marking. So we know we're on the right spot. Also, we have all trails we subscribe to, which is very helpful. As the hike progresses, so does the difficulty. So bring good hiking shoes and plenty of water to drink for a good two to three hours in each direction. The hike will take you to the rim of this dormant volcano with some awesome views at the top. 
We made it up just fine without a guide, but we might recommend one as I did injure my leg on the way down, slipping on some wet tree roots. If you prefer a more chill activity like snorkeling, we have two places we'd highly recommend. First is a place marked on Google Maps as Snorkeling Spot. It's actually easier to just look up Carambola Beach Club, but we got there early enough that the club wasn't open. So we parked our car in the club's parking lot and walked to the snorkeling spot, which is protected by a rock wall. You can snorkel out past the wall where you'll likely see some larger critters like an eagle ray, large schools of tangs, a friendly puffer fish, or maybe even a spotted snake eel. There are some clear, shallower areas along the beach as well and under the pier at the beach club. Further south, near where you can catch the ferry over to Nevis, is another great spot for snorkeling. There's a shipwreck near the shore in Majors Bay. You won't see as many fish here, but the shipwreck is fun to snorkel around and it's very easy to get to. All of this adventure is likely to work up an appetite for sure. You won't be disappointed in the food on St. Kitts. One of our favorite restaurants was the Sommeliers, which is located in Frigate Bay and just a short 10 minute drive from the Koi Resort. Tapas, including some excellent bruschetta with beach views at us coming back more than once. Another favorite is a bit further drive. The Belmont Sanctuary is a good 35 minute drive, but the five star resort has phenomenal views and excellent food. We would have stayed here if money was no object. Another option is on the opposite end of the island. The Park Hyatt has a restaurant called The Great House. This is another resort we may have stayed at if our budget allowed. The hummingbird pancakes with toasted pecans and the avocado toast with poached egg will bring a smile to anyone's face. Until next time, we'll work to travel. Thanks for joining us.